Hello. Nice here. Tetrabot and Co. Last part, we finished repairing Steambot. And then I ventured into Spacebot. I think I finished one level and then I like started another. And then like the episode was running long and there was still a big complicated puzzle. So I stopped. Um, anyway, just gotta solve like a couple puzzles to get back to where we were. I considered just starting the video after these puzzles were done. But uh, I wanted to have a complete playthrough of the level in a single video. sit there or no we do sit there or it's somewhere it doesn't matter apparently wait I need the slime to block off the laser at some point uh, not right now we'll do that okay now do this now he's on a cycle where he'll always run in front of the laser Yeah, I think just down this pipe is about all the progress we've made. Uh, that's not true. Okay. I said about. It's pretty similar to how far we got. Okay, up through this pipe. Oops, no, need that all the way over. I'm just wondering, can I do this without spending the wood block? I don't think so. I could light the slime block on fire first, but then I'd still need the wood block to connect it. So yeah, do that. Oh yeah, and then just attach that over there. I'll still be baffled by the presence of that pass-through block. Alright. But now we're here, and nothing really had been solved beyond this point. I guess I'd turn that laser on the right off. Or not laser, it's a electricity beam. Okay, but what was the name of the level? Traveling with friends? Yeah. It's all about bringing slimes through segments of the level. What's that do? Air. Okay. That's also air. I can just check the star blocks. Oh, wait a minute. This is also marked with a star. Did I even check what that does? Uh, I just realized I can never actually be out here. Well, yeah, let's undo a little. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to be out here while the air was up ever again. And I might not want the horizontal air right now. All right. Let's see. Am I okay with doing the thing. Yeah, I think I just want the pipe now. I don't think there's any significant advantage to be gained by using the pipe anywhere. Okay, so I have this turned off. That'll allow me easier passage around this sort of area. Ultimately want to get the slime to here. I think. That's probably the warp to there. Right, I guess... I think there might be enough emancipation grill things. Object filters. Maybe... I don't know, actually, I don't think there are enough that you have to solve the two halves of this really long hallway um, completely separately. Of course, I can't bring anything in this way. 
But with that electricity beam gone, I could bring something in from the other side. See, the puzzle on the right is for just a memory block. The puzzle on the left is for actual level progress. Right, I had done something like this. Throw it from up here. Scoot across. Um, didn't really want that flipped, but I guess I'm fine with it being flipped. If I just leave a sand block in the previous room, like right down here, I could get through this room from either direction again. Noted. Just trying to look at the whole level. So I can flip this. Gets me a lot more access to stuff. There's that filter there. Let's see. I don't need to leave electrified blocks lying around. I can electrify the slime just by turning the beam back on when it comes time. Let's see what I can do with two metal blocks in addition to the ice blocks I'm gonna have anyway. Make sure not to get either of them destroyed by filters, since we need both of them in these two positions. Not that I, like, ever let blocks get destroyed by filters. <laughs> I always, like, leave them somewhere just in case I need to go back and pick them up again. I might have, like, done it once as a demo. Maybe twice out of laziness. Okay. So, let's see. You... Let's see. In order to electrify a slime, I believe I need to avoid inflaming a slime. Is something we'd concluded before. Got air. The block will warp. I'm gonna give up a nice block. Slime falls. And we can never do anything with that cloud. But the slime made it to the next room and fell immediately. Okay, might want to undo some things. See, that laser comes from below, which is interesting. Okay, before we move the slime, let's be ready to catch it. Where's the best place to catch it? Well, right below it on yet another cloud block, right? And the cloud itself will block the laser beam. This feels right, although I don't like that I'm destroying all the ice blocks as I go. I might need to solve the left half of the puzzle first. But I can just spam a billion undoes if that comes to it. Still, having the two metal blocks seems to be helping immensely. Oh, wait. Uh, we can do the horizontal push. Uh, wait a minute. I don't have access to the switch anymore. Let's undo twice. <laughs> maybe, maybe three undos. Four? Okay. Undone. I need to look at the next room so I, this slime won't fall somewhere weird. Um, where do I think it's starting? I think it starts from here.
Okay. That's all we needed to do. Probably. If it starts in the other position, fall making it fall is probably fine. But yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get down past the slime. So I needed to stay with the switch. I couldn't just scoot by it. Okay, it did fall there. As expected. And let's see, I think I can easily get it there, but let's again look at the next room. I don't really care where it falls, although I want the electricity on. Although wait, it's gonna immediately go to the next one. Remind me what this room looks like again. Okay, it's just gonna be wandering around here. So it'll continually come back to here and then warp back and forth. Which is fine. Okay, so. We need the slime to fall down here. That should be easy enough to arrange with how many blocks we have. Grab my metal blocks. We've got an electric slime. Now that it's been electrified, I don't need this on ever again. I still have an ice block, and still have both my metal blocks. At the end, I just need to throw a metal block right here, it goes here, slime electrifies it, we've got our plus sign switch done. But uh, in case I need the metal blocks over here, let's hold on to him. Okay, I think I can just freely turn this on. I don't think there's any penalty to that. This room has an immediate filter. So maybe I could have just positioned the metal blocks. Just making sure, okay, there was a filter on this side too. So I need to get an ice block from somewhere, from there. Right, I ran into a problem in this room where I caught the slime on fire. How would you ever not inflame the slime? Let's see, we can't body block it with Tetrabot. That's just not a thing. Especially because Tetrabot's not the main character of this game. Uh, <laughs> Psychobot. Yeah, Psychobot doesn't even block lasers, plus you'd be stuck in the laser forever. We can get this block just fine. I don't know, maybe? I'm wondering if, like, Contact with an electricity beam is like stronger for elemental conversion than contact with just an electric block Maybe I don't need to worry about the laser but like if you don't need to worry about the laser What's even the point of having it in the puzzle? But also like what on earth do you do with the slime? if you can't laser. I don't exactly have that many blocks to work with. Like these are inaccessible for now. I'm gonna use this ice block over here. For now, let's just continue with the assumption that uh, catching the slime on fire is actually fine, regardless of what I said earlier in the video about it not being fine. Again, the undo feature in this game is very powerful. Just to make sure, I can't... Yeah, I definitely can't grab cloud blocks. I feel like a number of things would have been far easier if I could. Oh, that's funny. 
He's going the wrong way. I can just body block here, though. Alright. Throw the one that's not glass first so that it'll actually get changed. I had a plan for this that just involved sitting down here. I guess I got the uh, glass destroyed. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's undo because I did get blocks destroyed by going down there. I wonder if the air puts out fires. Maybe that's the joke. We need to do a few more steps in this room. Oops. Due to needing the fire put out. Yeah, okay. That might be the only time that mechanic gets used. Okay. So that was definitely something important I missed before. So let's get our iron blocks in place and claim our prizes. The iron will of course stay electrified. So the slimes don't even need to be there. Let's see, the portals were down here. Prize claim number one. I guess that was number two. Or number three, if you want to count the first one, but uh, let's not worry about details like that. And prize claim number A. The A-th number, which I guess is 10 which some people might argue with, but like, just start counting metal and ice blocks and pipes as prizes. I'm, I'm sure you can get to at least 10. Okay, so that was 8-3. I guess there are only two levels left. Even if this is all one level videos, are there any undiscovered blocks? Um, only two episodes left. Let's at least like look around this level some. We've got 12 minutes. Oh boy. So wait, we need any block to claim the first memory block. Oh no. What's this level called? Lost in Space. Yeah, I'm pretty lost. Uh... Slime there, if I had a block, I could deal with it easily. There's a block. If I could get back to the first room, we could immediately claim a memory block. Okay, this was the room with the second memory block. I think I pretty much just alternate top-bottom to cycle through the level, actually. It probably forms a complete loop. Okay. I don't know if I came from top or bottom just now. Let's go bottom, though. I do like that the, uh... The layout here kind of forms something that you could vaguely call a spaceship. Okay, they want our block. Oh, this is like a mirror image now. Alright, this one's already sticky enough to- wait. No, it's not the same block. <laughs> uh... Excuse me? 
Where are there more blocks? Or... Okay, that switch didn't affect either of these. Okay. So I need to look around... Oh, no, I just need to claim this. <laughs> I was gonna say, okay, so I need to look around this area more. Thought I'd missed something. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Uh... I'm gonna assume it's different over here, though. Here's the end of the level, but I need a block. I could just claim one of these blocks. I need a block. I could just claim both of these blocks. It's funny how they just, like, made a bunch of identical-looking rooms. And we're like, yeah, that looks good. This is a level. Okay, so we just need to find the end of the level again. If you just alternate which one on the left you're entering... Okay. Just claim a block. It'll get sticky on the left. You can pick it up again, and we're done! Okay. So that little look at a level turned out to be an entire level. <laughs> sure, yeah. I guess actually, one thing I hadn't thought of... Sector 8-5, five, five gates. Um, but yeah, one thing I hadn't thought of is that there will be a key level. So there are actually, counting 8-5, two levels left, not one. So if I had been doing one level videos, and didn't do 8-4 this episode, it would actually be three episodes left. But yeah, it looks like we'll finish next time, though. But yeah, let's, let's look around five gates, though. So it looks like if you beat this level at all, you're gonna get all the memory blocks. They just decided to make that free. These probably lead to things that have the shaped switches. Okay. So yeah, there's the diamond, or not diamond, <laughs> triangle, the star, got some mirror blocks, got a filter. Looks like we actually do need to exchange some blocks amongst the sides. And it's a little weird, cause uh, if you put this down here, by just going up here, grabbing it, throwing it, you can't get back down. Because the laser comes across here. What about like putting it over here? Well, then you can't use this laser to hit that switch because the block's in the way. So it's definitely this laser, this switch, this laser, this switch. How do you ever get the mirrors right? I believe the filters in place do let us somehow pass blocks around between the sides. Let's see. I'm thinking like, is this sticky spot worth anything? I don't know, let's, let's just keep looking around the level. We're not trying to solve everything because I doubt we have the time. So yeah, this pipe just leads to the other side of that. We took a look at it. We identified some of the problems and none of the solutions. I say we, but maybe some audience members are way more clever than me very quickly. Alright. So this looks like a puzzle to just assemble in this room. The double filter setup ensures you're not getting out of here. These slimes are very interesting. Because for the puzzle up top, we could maybe get a block out and make it sticky somewhere. So that might help. Which would also mean probably nobody solved the puzzle just by looking at the above part, because you didn't have all the pieces. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I don't anticipate too many struggles here. You've got five pieces, you gotta put them in a formation that works. Um. And you can lift this piece and this piece, probably, by lifting them with the magnet, and you, like, already have something here. I almost want to try to put this together now. But let's look at the bottom before I try anything. So here as a filter, we can't bring any blocks from the bottom up to those two slimes. Nor can we exchange blocks with the top puzzle. I guess rooms... Oh, right. I was gonna say, I guess rooms must not simulate until... you enter them, but no. It's that there actually was another use of the wind putting out flame slimes. So what's this switch do? It turns off the laser, right? Oh, which will allow us, if we can get the electric beam going, to electrify these blocks. Which... I don't know what that does for me. Or is this an electric receiver? No, this is an electric receiver, right? It's hard to tell. Dude, this is an electric beam? Yeah, I mean, first thing to do, though, seems like getting the slime to burn those blocks. And then you put out the fire, and you can electrify the slime. Oh, and then it can get to there, of course. That's why you want the blocks electrified. So doing the flame will allow us to get in there. Where's the square switch, though? Oh, it's probably gonna be revealed after the wood burns. Yeah, there's a switch in there. What if I did solve this whole level in the next three minutes? There's probably not even time to do all the moves. Yeah, that's, that's electricity. So we've at least scouted out what all the puzzle elements are. If I turn the laser beam off, we can now actually get him to get electrified before the fire was preventing it. So this solves the moon switch. What on earth do you do about the diamond? See, we could now kill the slime. That seems quite helpful. So you stick a block- yeah. I've got the solution, so let's just show it. Get a block sticky. Stick it up here, get another metal block here. Turn on electricity. That block retains its charge and will stay stuck to the wall even if I take this one out. Boom, got him. So that's two gates. I can claim the memory block, but there's no point unless I finish the whole level. I don't know, do I run long and just do a key level next time? I don't think that's going to fill an episode very well. What if it's a double feature? What if I what if I just do all the things? Oops. What if I'm stupid? <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't cook across that way. Ah! Psychobot, you're pathing. Please avoid the emancipation grills. I know it was like literally the most obvious path in most of the game. If you click past one, you just want to go through it. Alright, so you can stick like anything in here. I guess one of them needs to have metal pointed towards the inside. Is that even true? Not really. Oh wait, these are all the same mirror block, interesting. All right. Or no, they're not. I'm just bad at seeing. So while we build down below, let's just have that in place to stop the magnet. 
Uh, no, that strategy won't work because I can never take the glass back out. And also won't be able to get a block over here. So yeah, uh, abandoned that plan. I guess I can just stick something to the magnet. Got him. Oh wait, except... I think we want this. Yeah, we want this because in order to get the top block in place We need something to stop it against But once we are no longer using this magnet there won't be anything to stop it against so if we get these bottom two blocks in next Then we'd be in trouble. Oh But first wait, how's this gonna all work? My thinking is I need something to drop down when I take this off Oh, wait. No, this doesn't work at all. <laughs> um, however, I need to also be able to position blocks in the middle here, which is something I hadn't really thought of too much. We are over half an hour. I acknowledge the fact, and yet there's a puzzle here. Okay, so at the end, I kind of want to have this block and this block I stick this block on top, it comes up. Oh, but if I have the glass block already in place, it won't come up. So actually, I need to set up all three. Metal on top, and whatever block is on top shouldn't stick to either of these blocks as it goes by. Also, somehow, I've got to get it positioned in the middle here, and not off to the side, where I can actually easily stop the block. So I could start... have nothing here. Get something that'll drop down. Like, do this. Now let's see, if my top block is the pure metal block... No, I can't do that, I only have glass for the sides here. Let's see, if I have, yeah, glass here though, pure metal here, this block's not gonna stick to either. Got him. So we'll just remember that solution for next time. <laughs> I know, or we're gonna solve the whole level right here. Make it a little long, but if we can do this in under 40 minutes, I'm pretty happy. Alright, so it seems like... I need to get a couple blocks out of here, so that I can... sticky them with the slimes from the middle pathway. Let's see. I guess I want the blocks that are gonna be here and here to be the sticky ones. And then once you've got them stuck in place, you come down here and throw the blocks that are meant for here and then quickly get out of the way. And then come here, there, quickly get out of the way. I wonder if there is time to get out of the way though. Maybe you just get owned. Uh, that was wrong. Actually, yeah. How do I get this block out of here? Maybe I don't, but that's, that's an issue. Uh, hmm. Maybe my solution doesn't work at all. Like, I have this, sure. But how would I get this down? without just, you know, preventing myself from ever doing anything again. Yeah, like, I can do this, get the right side sticky. Come up 
here. Stick this there. I can't get it up above the filter. No way to pass a block upward like that. I feel like once I figure out how to solve one half of this puzzle, the whole puzzle's gonna just fall apart. So if it's symmetric, I take this block, get it sticky on the left, put it over here. It's actually... Can I... Okay, even rapid clicking, I was not able to move out of there before the laser hit me. So I'll do a couple more times. Just leave this up there. Um, I guess if I ever want to pick up that block, I need, like, this over here. Just stop the laser entirely for now. the wrong block sticky. But uh, maybe I also still have no idea what I'm doing here. And I, I want to play around with it. Hey, yes, yes, if I want to claim that upper block, gotta have that there for now. But then what? Sticking it there at least allows me to move this, but to what end? Got the switch flipped. Got him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm clearly stuck though. Thinking like, what if I blocked the laser by having this somewhere else, like here, if I could arrange that? Is that any good at all? I don't think it is. Because then you can't take it, so you can't put it over here. We're so close on this level, and yet I'm like, maybe I should just call it a video. We'll finish this next time. I'll start on this puzzle, if, and then just run through the rest of the level if it comes to it. What key thing am I missing about all this, though? We need both halves solved at the same time, so we can't dedicate more than half the blocks to either side. But it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly the blocks I chose for each side, does it? Maybe it does, honestly. You clearly need some way to direct the laser up into the receiver, because it's a downward-facing receiver. Why is this a see-through block, though? What does that even do? It lets you retrieve blocks from the other side directly. Does that help? It would help me set up one half of it, but not both. Because, um, I could have had this stacked on, like, this block up here, and then I come to this side, grab this block out from here, this one falls. I guess I can just demonstrate it. Stick this here for now. Grab 
this. You can use it on the other side. Throw that. And so that's solved-ish. But then, like, you can't use that technique twice. Because now, this is here. It's in the way. Unless it occurs to me, um... Probably prefer this over here. Then what? I can't possibly just like... Oh. <laughs> you just outrun the laser guys. Or rather outrun the falling block. Okay, so this level's done. And next time we just have a key level. And... The ending stuff. Oops. Uh, I guess enter a level so we can read the uh, repair comment. Space bot. It wasn't a piece of cake, but I got there in the end. Is that a portal reference? Piece of cake? If you tax the artificial brain cells of Tetrabot too much, you'll soon tire them out. Try alternating with painting workshops. Okay, right. L and M went too far with their latest tests, and clearly the bot's there with a portal gun. Pondering the puzzle, as we recently pondered puzzles. Yeah, we got 8-6, this news, this movie, we'll have enough keys for this. It's probably... Uh, the credits are probably short, honestly. Probably view the credits. Um... I know, should I show this? It's literally just a message telling you to, like, write to a certain email address with a certain subject line. You did it. Here's the subject line I can probably reveal without spoiling anything, but it's I am a Tetrabot master. <laughs> anyway, ran long but did three levels. I enjoyed it. Hopefully it was enjoyable to watch. You stayed for the whole thing. But, uh, see ya!